So this is how Pierre Bourne made the beat for a routine. And this is how Pierre Bourne makes his melodies. What's poppin' gang? Today we're gonna be making a Pierre Bourne type beat. You know what I'm saying? Play recordings, about to drop his album on Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about it. We're just gonna go ahead and just make some beats that he'll probably even get on that might even show up on his album. Some of the stuff that I use are from the MIDI kit, MIDI notes from Mars. Link it in the description if you wanna get that. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you listen to that song, you know, he pretty much used a lot of bells and stuff like that. I pretty much got the melody down. Here's some of the sounds that I use and it's not 100 perfect to like hit the his sound or whatever but it's very similar to same notes so here's the bell that i use for this song routine and here's another sound that i use that's playing at the same time and together they both sound like this Super simple, not a lot of sounds in this beat, you know what I'm saying, I didn't go crazy or whatever. Oh, he didn't go crazy in, the, in that song, you know, with the beat. The next sound that I used was uh, this French strings. I, I wanted to get that Pierre Bourne French horn sound, you know what I'm saying, but this is the closest I can get. So let's hear it real quick. Next was the was pretty much the hi-hat. His rows are super simple, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta overdo it, like the super fast rows and stuff like that, like South Side or whatever. He does his own little regular rows, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too hype. Let's listen to it real quick. All right, so next was the clap, and pretty much like with his claps, he used a regular clap, but what I like to do is make sure I high pitch it up so it, it'd be a little bit higher. Perfect, sounds like the clap he uses. All right, so next is the 808. He used a pretty simple pattern, you know what I'm saying, that kind of followed the melody a little bit, but uh, let's listen to it real quick. And with all the sounds together, it sounds like this. As you can see with that beat, it was pretty simple. You know what I'm saying? He used like two notes on the bottom, one lead melody at the top. You know what I'm saying? Super simple. I pretty much took that same concept and bring it over to the next beat. So let's listen to it real quick. Okay, so I found these horns that sound like something that Pierre Bourne would probably use in his songs or whatever. It's called Distant Horns and it's from this plugin called Element. I guess it's from Waves. And I basically use it in the same scale as the beat before that he actually used, which is E minor. So I just tried to keep it simple, just something that he would actually use and with that melody i played another sound that's from retro machine like i said i wanted to get it exactly like a pure born type sound so let's let's listen to both of them at the same time real quick and at the end you know i put some like little uh effect tricks effect on it you know what i'm saying just to give it a little bit more you know something let's listen to it real quick So next, I use this funky bass type sound thing going on, you know what I'm saying? Here's the plugin that I use, super simple. Let's listen to it real quick. So next, I added in a plugin called Nexus, you guys. You guys use Nexus. I wanted to create some kind of sound that'll tell the rapper that this is the hook. I created a different melody from Nexus. This is the sound that I use, and let's listen to it real quick. So that was just something that just to add for the hook part, you know what I'm saying, just so you can tell which one is the verse and which one's not, you know, just to give it a little bit more bounce as well. I took that same melody and added it to a, another instrument, you know what I'm saying, so when the verse plays, you can tell like, all right, this is the verse, you know what I mean? So those sounds were, for one from Nexus, it was like Chill Zone, chill, chill Zone 2, and then I added another instrument from Element 2, the Distant Horns. I just feel like this is a perfect Pierre Born preset, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we just played those together and this is what it sounds like. All right, so next will be the drums. I pretty much took the hi-hat from the MIDI notes from Mars kit. If you want to link to that, a link will be in the description. Let's listen to the hi-hats real quick. So 
super simple. I just clicked and dragged it in, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. I did the same thing with the clap, just made it higher. Let's go ahead and go on to the 808. So with the 808, I pretty much used two, but one of them was the main one, was like the Pierre Bourne, you know, uh, Zay Tobin type 808, you know what I'm saying? Look. look. You know that type of 808 but i then i mixed it with another 808 just to like on the bottom end just give it some more rumble it's real low but uh let's listen to it real quick and with all those sounds put together it sounds like this All right, so next, I pretty much made another beat, you know, with those same tips again, like I said. Yeah, so I wanted to really just go in with those same tips. But this next beat, I pretty much used this sound right here, Defeat EP, Hong Kong Strings, and Tokyo Pluck. So with all these sounds together, I basically put it in the same scale, E minor. I added a chord set to it, you know what I'm saying? So it's still those notes that's playing at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So let's hear it real quick. The next sound that I added was some distant bells. I wanted to just add some more to the beat. You know, you can't just add one melody when you're making a Pierre Bourne beat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta add more than one melody. So let's listen to it real quick. And that sound was really more for the hook, you know what I'm saying? Only when the hook plays, that sound is gonna be playing. So for this next sound, it's more like a counter melody for the main sound. It can be played throughout the, the verse, the hook. Let's listen to it real quick. So I felt like that was a really good like Pierre Bourne type sound, you know what I'm saying? That he would really probably use in a lot of his songs. You know, he kind of has that like little LA synth vibe type thing that he got going on, you know what I'm saying? And the sound that I used was Feet, the little creature. I don't, I don't know why they named it that, but uh, yeah. So next would be the drums. That's pretty much it on the sounds. Here go another simple, simple pattern that I use. Regular rolls, nothing too crazy. Let's listen to it. Simple bounce. I did the same thing with the clap, just pissed it up a little bit. Same thing with the 808, where I just used two 808s, one for a lower note, you know what I'm saying, just to get that little low rumble. And then uh, the, the classic Zaytoven 808. And I'll pretty much play the beat at the end of the video. Hopefully this helps you make Pierre Bourne, Cardi B type beats, you know what I'm saying? Um, this was a simple tutorial, um, simple sounds in the beat, you know what I mean? It shouldn't be too hard to do for you guys to understand how to do this. If you want that kit that was talking about mini notes from Mars, it will be a link in the description where you can get the demo version for free. You can download it right now and see if it works for your DAW. And if it does, you can get the full version. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.